Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there and staying positive. Yes, I'm in my office today. I'm extremely tired. You probably see my eye, what do you call them, black underneath my eyes. I was up really late last night watching the Formula One in Austria. And of course, then I switched over to Wimbledon because we had a fellow Aussie in the final, as everyone knows, Nick Kyrgios and Novak Djokovic. And I'm glad Novak Djokovic won the uh, match, just putting it out there. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so it was a really late night. I ended up going to bed at like two o'clock in the morning. Anyway, there's a lot happening in the crypto space. There is an update in relation to the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit, they are really playing hardball, ladies and gentlemen. They do not want information out to the public. They've just put in a new document now, and we'll go through that on Twitter in a moment. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well. Because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on this incredible journey. It's been incredible so far, to be honest. Uh, also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find, ladies and gentlemen, do that. So smash the thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. It's free. Thank you. You guys rock. You are all legends. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that, especially in crypto, all right? So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, formalities are out of the way. Yes, I probably need about another 10 triple espressos because I'm extremely tired Anyway, I'm still giving you guys a market update because it's never a dull moment in crypto. That is the reason why I love it so much. Anyway, let's go to the community tab. All right. So I started in crypto in 2017. Yes, that that's basically what I did. I started in crypto in 2017. I bought Bitcoin. And the funny thing was, um, because the market went quiet, I just let it sit there. And yes, I've, I'm up on my Bitcoin right now. So again, long term, have not lost on Bitcoin straight up. Anyway. To the community right here, 2% started in 2015, 2% started in 2016, 9% of you have started in 2017, basically at the same time, 17% got involved in 2018 to 2019, 70% got involved in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Bullish as anything, ladies and gentlemen, this is great because we're still early and I see so many people out there on Twitter saying, oh, you've missed all your time, your chances are gone. Everyone got rich in crypto. Now it's just a big Ponzi scheme. No, it's not the case at all. There's a lot of happening in the world, uh, in the financial world, more to the point, uh, with crypto and adoption and blockchain. It's just the beginning. It's just getting started. People need to understand that. I've had investments that I've been in for at least six to seven years before they started paying off straight up. So we're still early. So those of you who started in 2022, 2021, or 2020, you're still early, which is awesome. And again, I want more of quant. Yes, I do want more of quant because I honestly believe it is the most undervalued cryptocurrency right now with less of a supply than Bitcoin. It already should be a thousand to two thousand dollar coin. There's a lot of uh, utility with quant. Anyway, moving on, let's go to CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptos in Australia. Please feel free to use the referral link below. You will get $10 in Bitcoin. But of course, with any of this stuff, please do your own research and due diligence. Someone has just slammed the door in my uh, office building there. I don't know why. Sorry about that loud noise. Anyway, let's have a look at these prices. Yes, they are in Australian dollars. Just to clarify again, Australian dollars because this is an Australian exchange. Everything else is set to USD because I'm catering for everybody around the world. All right, Bitcoin sitting at 30,000 Australian dollars today, which is nice. It's down 2.77%. Not too worried about that because it will go to 100 to 250,000 dollars. It will. Ethereum, $1,700 today. You've got XRP at 49 cents. Some updates about the Ripple case as well. Still bullish on Ripple and XRP. Do you think it can hit $50,000? 
I mean, crazy stuff. Anything is possible. I'm staying positive about that. Cardano's at 68 cents. I'm bullish on Cardano as well. Solana's $53. No, I'm not investing in Solana because again, if there's a lawsuit again, this $53 will drop dramatically. Honestly, it will. Doge is at $0.09 cents right now. Polkadot's at $10. You've got Tron at $0.10. Cents. Moving down, you've got Matic at $0.83. Cents. Crow is at $0.17. Cents. You've got Link at $9. You've got Stellar at $0.15. Cents. Near Protocol's at $5 right now. Algorand's at $0.45. Cents. VeChain, one of my favorites, is at $0.03 cents right now. Logistics and supply chain management are going to be huge. Moving down right here, Tezos is up to $2.44. I'm actually not invested in Tezos, and I should be, because it's a great project. Hadera's at $0.09 cents right now, incredibly undervalued. Axie Infinity is at $21. I was buying this at $80, so I need this to go back up, please. Quant is at $116. I told everyone I was going to buy this when it dropped below 80 and I did, and I'm seeing some nice returns on that already. Just getting started with Quant. IOTA's up 2.23% to $0.43. Cents. Moving down, you've got Luna Classic. It is down 2.84% today. The graph is at $0.14. Cents. Web3 is going to be big. Phantom is at $0.39. Cents. Moving down to some of my other favorites. Gala is at $0.07. Cents. That's a bargain right there. And of course, Sinfin XTC is at $0.03. Cents. The other ones I'm bullish on, of course, are XYO. That is at $0.01 cent right now. The other one is Reef. Again, all these coins are on CoinSpot, which is really nice. So under a cent. Look at that. It's pennies. Beautiful. Let's go to CoinSpot. Uh, sorry, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. I'm half asleep. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Coin, uh, crypto Bubbles. <laughs> all right, let's have a look here. Everything's red at the moment. And as I said yesterday in my video, this is the ideal time to buy cryptos because the market is quiet. Low at the moment. Volumes are low. This is a beautiful time to buy. Let's have a look here, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, GMT is down 9% today. Still up 10% on the week. The other ones here that are literally the only ones in the green are XMR Monero. I'm not invested in this, but it's still up 10% on the week, which is nice. If you go to Chili's, it is up 6.2% on the week, which is good as well. At 10 cents, I'm not invested in Chili's. Obviously, we've got some other ones here, ladies and gentlemen. Quant is down 5.9% as well. It was pumping over the weekend. It really was. $77. It's still up 38% on the week incredibly undervalued i said this in my video yesterday look at that it was already a 376 us dollars beautiful stuff right there again uh, let's have a look at some other ones here of course phantom still up 18 percent on the year 2.4 percent on the week i like this ladies and gentlemen some other ones here of course v chain this one has been a sleeper this you know again the ufc partnerships haven't sent the price skyrocketing but obviously once adoption happens with supply chain and logistics on the blockchain v chain is definitely going to fly and those of you who don't like it that's your loss right there anyway moving on ripple versus the sec lawsuit right now legal experts reveals why xrp is the most important altcoin in the crypto space yes it is so the case is ling has lingered for almost two years following the litigation brought against ripple labs by the sec the crooks. Anyway, uh, the two entities have had one of the longest legal battles in crypto space so far. As we approach the end, Johnny Deaton, founder of American legal uh, company Deaton Law Firm, has revealed how important the final ruling is into the crypto in general right now. So Deaton notes that the final ruling goes against XRP. It could spell doom for all altcoins right now. And this is facts. This is why it's so important right now to focus on this case. People have no idea how important it is for Ripple to win the SEC lawsuit. They will. I'm staying positive. So the SEC recently requested to limit expert testimony by Ripple. Now, there's been an update today as well from uh, James K. Filan. We'll have a look at that tweet. So make sure you stay for that. Bullish about this as well. XRP community predicts extremely favorable price with anticipated release of smart contracts on the XRP ledger. How good is this? Despite bearish market conditions and the ongoing Ripple lawsuit, the XRP community continues to maintain high optimism, the XRP army, toward the XRP price. At the center of discussion is the XRP community is Jimmy Val, CEO of Val Hill Capital, and his buyback price prediction of 35000 for the seventh largest cryptocurrency and XRP user, ENG, instead believes XRP might reach $50,000. Now, um, that would just be mind-blowing and ridiculous and insane. And I don't think a lot of us would know what to do with that kind of money anyway. 
Um, but, you know, I have a vague idea of what everyone would do anyway. Pretty much retire instantly, cash out some profits, pay off all their debts, buy houses, real estate, invest. If you're smart and not buy stupid things, um, it's very important. So that's, you know, one of the most important reasons why you need to educate yourself on financial and um, become financially literate straight up. Anyway, so the predictions were surely met with some measure of skepticism. Crypto user John Good, referring to Val Hill Capital CEO's comments, tweeted in response, for all of you saying this is impossible, please research ISO 222 and the new payment ecosystem that is coming to our globe. Facts. He, Jimmy Val, is simply saying for XRP to be cross the be the cross border payment token that is is each uh, sorry that it is each coin must have an equivalent to the asset that it's moving, which is trillions. He added, if this ca if this is the case, XRP must be set at a price. Market cap and bull and bear runs won't matter anymore for XRP. I'm not believing it is uh, until I see it, but I'm hopeful based on my extensive research on what is coming in the new ecosystem. Anyway, I mean, this is just crazy. I mean, as I said before, people thought Bitcoin could not hit those levels that it was at 60,000 US dollars. So there you go. Anyway, XRP remains in the hands of the market forces ahead of the Hinman ruling. The SEC is trying their hardest not to give out any information. They will lose the lawsuit straight up. Some other news updates. Use UK fund managers push for blockchain traded funds, Financial Times. So UK's asset management industry is seeking approval of blockchain traded funds that would issue digital tokens to investors. Using blockchain's digital le uh, ledgers to achieve greater efficiency. Excuse me about the pop-up right now. Efficiency in buying and selling mutual funds would save on cost, investment associations says. I mean, it's only a matter of time. This is why crypto is not going anywhere. People have not, you know, lost out on opportunities. There's plenty of opportunities if you're investing in the right assets. So make that very clear. And also there's another update I want to show you as well. This is the weeding out process right now. This is Rockefeller, international chairman, expresses confidence in Bitcoin's comeback. Have a look at this news article right here. So forgive me if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Rasher Sharma right now, the chairman of investment management firm at Rockefeller International, uh, could be invested in Ripple and XRP, by the way, uh, has expressed bullishness regarding Bitcoin's future as the cryptocurrency maneuvers the current bear market. Sharma believes that Bitcoin will make a comeback, but maintain that the cryptocurrency market needs to get rid of weak assets before rising again. I agree. He said during an interview on Coindesk and TV on July 8th, Sharma noted that the Federal Reserve policies are hurting Bitcoin and crypto in general, but stated that the current downturn is part of the general growth traje trajectory. Tongue twister. Uh, the strategist who previously served as Morgan Stanley's chief strategist acknowledged that for recent cryptocurrency rise has been a bubble and once it bursts, Bitcoin will stand out. We need to uh, the excess to get the uh, to get weeded out. Then we can see the emergence of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as a steady asset, utility coins. But now it is caught up in this speculative mania. It's just a matter of time. I mean, look at this: Rockefellers, multi-trillionaires, billionaire trillionaires, ladies, not billionaires, trillionaires. Straight up, crypto is not going anywhere. Europe and crypto adoption, what lies on the horizon right now? Look at this. Europe is the next big market for crypto adoption, says Johnny Liu, the CEO of KuCoin. A recent research points out that the EU is lagging behind other nations when it comes to crypto adoption. Only around 17% of Europeans have taken to cryptocurrencies. Combined with high average incomes, reduced faith in centralized banking systems, I agree. World leading rates and higher education and many cryptocurrencies being cheaper <coughs> excuse me, than ever. <coughs> excuse me. It seems to be a no-brainer that the EU is the next on the list for mass crypto adoption. What do you think about that? Again, another bullish article. Sorry, I'm just I'm having a moment here anyway. Moving on, Three Arrows Capital Bankruptcy Filing Claims Location of Co-Founders is currently unknown. They've done a runner. 
they've become decentralized themselves. Three Arrows Capital bankruptcy filing states that the location of both Sue Zhu and Kyle Davies is currently unknown and the pair might have left Singapore. The document also states that Three Arrows Capital managed, uh, managed $3 billion in digital assets as of April 2022. The bankruptcy filing also requests a stay uh, on effect efforts by creditors to seize the hedge fund's assets. The whereabouts of the co-founders of the embattled crypto hedge funds, Three Arrows Capital, are currently unknown. According to the bankruptcy filing made to the United States Bankruptcy Court of the Southern District of New York, co-founders Suzu and Kyle Davis cannot be located in the United States. The foreign representatives understand and believe that while the debtor has had certain operations in Singapore, Mr. Davies and Mr. Sue's current location remains unknown. They are rumored to have left Singapore, probably gone to the Cayman Islands, the Bahamas, probably sitting somewhere with their billions. Let's go to CryptoMeter.io, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, you've got in the last day. Let's refresh this because this changes every five seconds, honestly. Let's go down here. You've got Burger. I don't know what that is. Solana, XMR, Monero. You've got BNB, BUSD, Ethereum. You've got XRP, OVR. You've got BCH, RAD, and Maha. Don't know what those ones are, Maha, and, and obviously RAD, RAD. But anyway, that's where the money's been flowing. Of course, it's nice to see XRP there. If I go to World OTC, yes, this is live. This is my actual trading OTC. It's been working really nicely, making 3.2% profits per day. Again, I'm using the iMacro script, which is automated. My computer is on 24 hours a day. And again, if you don't make all the trades, you're not going to make 3.2%. Again, I like this. I only threw in 200 USDT, basically 199 USDT. It's now sitting at 532. Again, I like this because they're using Google Authenticator to withdraw your money and not relying on text messages. But again, this is high risk, high reward. You can see all the profits being made right here. Two, two USDT, two, 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 two. So this is in one day right here. So again, really nice. I'm just going to leave it in here see if, and basically take out my initial investment, which will be soon as well. Probably when I hit around 600 USDT, I'll take out my initial investment and play with house money. And then it's just upwards from there. But please be careful with this. High risk, high reward. It's free. Linked below. Please do your own research, of course. Let's go to Twitter because there's, again, never a dull moment in here. So this is crazy. The moon here, Carl Runefeld. I love your channel, man. The future of Bitcoin right now. Citizen Storm Bank of China in the Shenzhou over frozen assets right now. So this is pretty crazy stuff. So again, they're absolutely destroying the bank. People don't realize that if your cash is in a bank or you've got assets in a bank, they can freeze your assets if they need to. It's straight up. It's not your money if it's in a bank. This is why I love crypto. But of course, with crypto, you've got to be careful because you can lose your assets as well. Moving on. Don't underestimate the power and scarcity of fo and FOMO. Quant left the total tokens in dollars entering exchanges. Right equals the total of tokens right now in dollars left exchanges. Most, uh, most other coins have inflow and outflow ratio of close to one to one. There's a lot of money going out from quant ladies and gentlemen 11.11.1 million dollars so don't sleep on quant plan b bitcoin 12 ounces of gold chart shows clearly that bitcoin was overvalued in 2013 and 2017 when i got involved in crypto it is undervalued right now look at that ladies and gentlemen basically it is undervalued bullish as anything again it's a fire sale that's the way i look at it ripple xrp this is breaking news so defendants and SEC in brawl over expert reports. SEC is taking extreme position that the names of its experts and any substantive criticism of their reports should be kept from public view. Expedited briefing requested right now. This is just ridiculous. They are as corrupt as anything. This is corruption at its finest. Keeping things from the public is not a good idea. Straight up, especially when you're dealing with people's investments and money. A lot of people in the United States and around the world have been affected by this stupid lawsuit when clearly XRP is not a security. This is what I'm saying. It's corruption at its finest. I hope the judge sees this. I really do, ladies and gentlemen. I really do. So moving on, there's 150 central banks, 44,000 banks and credit unions around the world. 90% of the banking sector leverages quarter, R3. So 
The Cedify Quant offers decentralized services to centralized entities. Quant is the only crypto with confirmed use cases with Corda. Have a listen to this quickly. Fargo and, and MasterCard and Nasdaq. So, you know, as I mentioned, about 90% of the banking sector leverages Corda. So this is a huge use case. 90% of the banking sector. Come on. It's unbelievable right here. XRP. Thanks, Coins Kid, on the idea that the Phase B is similar to Phase A, but a little bit extended. If XRP keeps on rhyming and the same FIB targets the r -Met in 216, dollars is inevitable and imminent right now. So again, we could see a massive uprise in Ripple and XRP. This is interesting right here. Jim, uh, Linda P. Jones and Jimmy Val again discussing glitches on crypto exchanges could be stress tests for XRP. Interesting. Have a, a listen. A lot of unusual activity on exchanges like glitches and things of that nature. And even truthfully, I know a lot of people in, at, on certain days, even myself, if you go back to the last all time high that we had of 384 or 380 plus, whatever it was. You know, a lot of people believe that that was even a stress test on the system at the time, testing things and of that nature, even though the whole market was moving, that it was operating under the under that understanding to be able to stress test the system. Any thoughts on that, Linda, at all? Yeah, I mean, from time to time, we do get these price glitches and it it's publicized. We see the number and. We don't know what's causing it, but there has been background discussion that perhaps it's from the private ledger, that the stress testing comes from the private ledger and it spills over into the retail side and causes these glitches. We don't know it causes these glitches. We don't know if that's true, but it kind of makes a logical reason to me. It's a, it's a logical explanation. of Very interesting right there. Thank you, Digital Perspectives, for that video. Crazy inflation numbers in Europe every, everywhere, sorry. And the reality is probably worse. And I agree, it's definitely worse because the most of them massage their numbers. And like the United States does with their fake CPI data right now, pretty insane. Look at these inflation numbers all across Europe. It's not going down anytime soon, that's for sure. This is why I love crypto because it's a hedge against inflation. What's a reasonable target for Bitcoin in the next bull market? BTC at $20,000, market size is $500 billion. BTC at 119000 financial gold, BTC at 476000 all of the gold, BTC at $2 million, US housing market. That is just unbelievable. Could you imagine a $2 million Bitcoin? If, if you held a small amount of Bitcoin, you'd be you know sitting on an absolute, a lot of money. Now, this is hilarious. This pen has more utility than 99.99% .99 of NFT projects. Who remembers these in high school or primary school, whatever you used to use them? Again, that's facts right now. NFTs for me are just meh. Anyway, whatever. Those of you who are holding NFTs like the Board Ape Yacht Club, all that money just went to the founders of the firm anyway and uh, pretty much just useless. Anyway, moving on. Price is not the same as valuation. Price is what you pay. And is the outcome of current supply slash ask and demand slash bid market dynamics. Value is what you get. And is the mo and the outcome of the valuation model that looks at the same underlying signal that cuts through current price noise right now. Bitcoin is moving upwards and I don't care what anyone says. It's just growing, ladies and gentlemen. It's in a bit of a sideways movement, but we could expect some serious movements with Bitcoin. Just stay positive and stay, think long term. Do stuff that makes you happy and don't worry about what other people think. I agree. Moving on right here. No one is really going to help you or give you direction. In fact, the odds are against you. And I retweeted this for a reason because I basically said this. Self-education is key. You can achieve anything you want in life. Have a goal and take small steps. All right. There's a lot of educational tools right there. You have everything in the palm of your hand and advice can always be found uh, on the internet just make sure you're seeking it from the appropriate source that's basically it and stay positive more importantly bitcoin archive if you own less than one bitcoin make it your life's mission to get one whole bitcoin someday no matter how hard it feels right now make it your goal and give it your best shot again that's bullish as anything right here this is interesting right now thank you riz for this tweet cbdc's are unlikely this is interesting now 
basically just going into CBDCs not being likely for a very long time. Some other stuff right here. Uh, Justin, worst of liquidations is likely over, says Lynn Alden of Bitcoin on Bitcoin right now. And I agree. Celsius Network hires lawyers to advise it through potential banks, rupsy and re restructuring plans. The Wall Street Journal reports. Very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot happening in the crypto space. But again, it's, it's, it's like basically Monday morning. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Sunday there or Sunday evening in the United States, Monday here in, in Australia. Let's go to coin market cap, 915 billion markets down, $55 billion in volume right now, 42% BTC, 15% Ethereum in the reds right now. Again, the only coins I keep talking about on this channel are the ones right here, ladies and gentlemen, XRP, Stellar, Algorand, Hedera, Quant, IOTA, XDC, incredibly undervalued. And these ones will change the world forever. Honestly, it's already being done right now, but people just can't seem to look and you know see it straight up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. We'll talk to you in the comments. Stay safe. Follow me on socials. We'll speak to you tomorrow. Peace. Bye.